Hello, it's Kinnanigan. I hope everyone's having a good holiday. Um, I have some people I want to thank. Um, I'm going to keep this private, so I'm just going to move my browser over to my other screen so you can't see it. To some people who ask me, this is Windows 10, yeah, you can customize your desktop. So, uh, someone thought I was using Windows Vista before. I, you know, don't... <laughs> I'm telling you that because look here we go this is what the video is somewhat about I hit my Microsoft news feed on Windows 10 and what is the first thing that pops up on my news feed Donald Trump yeah let's explain about what's going on and what basically happened up until the end of the year and what this is all about so let me thank some people first before I don't want to get myself in trouble, but what they're doing is pretty obvious. Um, this is not political. What they are engaging in currently right now, and I'll explain, is satanic, period. I'll explain. Why did they remove Trump from the ballot right before Christmas? Yeah, think about that one for a second. Uh, who I want to thank, I want to thank Irma, Joanne from Buy Me A Coffee, Rajil, Rajilio, and Hector from Cash App, and I, don't, I I had one. Oh, Tatiana. Yeah, Tatiana. Well, okay. I don't want to say the last name. Tatiana. That was on PayPal. Those are people who donated to my channel within the past few days. Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas, um, up until today. I didn't make any videos during the holiday. Didn't really do much. Um, I've been keeping myself busy with <laughs> playing video games. Uh, I can't take the new... And this is what drove me to make this video. Is on Christmas Day. Christmas Day. I was curious and I went to CNN and MSNBC's website. And guess what the first article was about? Trump. You know... For people that hate him so much, there's, um, and you're going to see a bigger divide in the very immediate future. And that's going to come out. It's going to be a lot of name calling from the other side. They're going to call you MAGA, Trump, QAnon conspiracy theorists. I, I know what Q, the difference between Q and QAnon is, okay? You're preaching to the choir on that one. It's who is saying, you know, if people are saying, and that's going to be over the Jeffrey Epstein uh, black book release. Which is actually the root of Trump derangement syndrome within the elite themselves. Most people don't even know why they engage in it. So what was taking Trump off the ballot uh, starting in Colorado? Well, December for black magicians is the month that they work most of their black magic. And I was even confirmed this by... A sub of mine who even told me I, I've, I already know about the dark energy going up until Christmas because the nights are longer up until the winter solstice the Sun loses um, daylight every day it gets dark around 430 on the East Coast right before Christmas and that's when they perform a lot of their dark rituals this was all about keeping the public engaged in gossip which is the tool they use to condemn and crucify Jesus Christ as per Babylonian Talmud. This has absolutely zero to do with politics or a constitution or America. This was about snuffing out the holiday of Jesus Christ and to keep everything from people talking about what Christmas is really supposed to be about and keep them engaged in gossip, specifically around a certain orange man. And I confirmed that when I went to the CNN and MSNBC websites on Christmas. I didn't make a video that day. It's probably better I didn't. I don't need to prove it to you. They're still doing it. This is all this is about. Of course, it's got no basis in leg legality. That's not the point. This is the energy vampires. This is about just pissing people off because they get off on it. This is very demonic. It's very satanically rooted. And I'm telling you right now, it's only going to get worse. They already have a plan for the election. I, and I found the video. I don't have it pulled up right now. But it's two people 
talking in the video who have already been kicked off the YouTube platform. One is Tucker Carlson, the other one is Dan Borgino. And they had an interview together. And Tucker Carlson had a document. And he showed it to Dan Borgino. He wasn't pulling this out of his ass. If they did not win, yeah, let's put that one in quotation marks. If they did not win the 2020 election, they had a backup plan. And Tucker Carlson had the document in which Democrats are saying that they would not concede power and they would bring it to a quote-unquote street fight. Yeah, think about that one. Blaming other people for what you're actually guilty of. That was their exact quote. This is probably why a lot of congressmen had to back off on January 6th of confirming anything because they probably got intelligence. If we do this, they've got people to go that are going to burn the fucking cities to the ground right now. And you know what groups I'm talking about. It's getting worse now, except they're not using, they, they use different knee-high lists. They, they're the knee-high lists in the whole pantheon of people that the deep state are using. So the new ones now are obviously the Palestinian protesters. Watch those protests. They're getting very bad. And they're going to use them for chaos. Uh, so they don't even plan on conceding. And that, and that was their plan in 2020. And everything that they're doing now about this ballot and uh, gossiping about Orange Man 24-7. This is, they were doing everything to keep the American people off the entire focus of what Christmas and the birth of Jesus Christ himself was supposed to be about. Do I sound preachy to you? Because that's exactly what's going on. I'm not, you know, prove me that I'm wrong, prove to me that I'm wrong anyway. And this is all about. Uh, these are energy attacks that they're doing upon people now. They, they just don't even have a basis in legality. I don't even... Uh, they got other plans for when that election comes around. Then we're, yeah, what they plan to do. It's only going to get worse. I just want people... To finally figure out what it, what is the root of the... Um, the derangement here. And we are seeing a divide among politicians... And people in Hollywood who don't want to be associated with it anymore. They're distancing themselves. They're like, this is just getting out of hand. I've been uh, watching interviews with quite a few famous people over the past few weeks to kind of size up like what the thoughts are in Hollywood about all this hate that's going on with a certain person. And those people, I think, are not the ones who are engaged in a certain type of extracurricular activity. While the other ones who have massive derangement syndrome, there's a few of them, Gene Simmons, Howard Stern, Bill Maher, uh, <laughs> they, they, they're even being questioned from time to time, and it pisses them the hell off. I saw Bill Maher, I'm not going to dox any of his videos, so I'll file copyright on me. He has a podcast on YouTube now called Club Random, and he brings all kinds of Hollywood types on his show to talk, and believe it or not, you can get pretty good damn insight into people and not everyone that he brings on that show thinks like your typical liberal Hollywood person I actually found one of the most normal people on his show when he was interviewing them to actually be of all people boy George who actually didn't sound like he wanted to associate anything with what's going on in Hollywood and you just know boy George is right obviously gay um there's a whole lot of people in that pantheon of people who do not like what is going on right now because, uh, as they said, it's putting their progress backwards 50 years when you shove it in people's face. So, that's my rant. All these stupid-ass agendas that these people have been engaging in all throughout 2023, they're all going to start coming to light. And maybe lights will start clicking on in people's heads. Because there are a lot of people, professional people, lawyers, um, who are even looking at this and saying, like, what the hell are these people thinking? Like, this has no basis in legality. Yeah, I know what it's about. You th look what time of year it is. This was nothing about legality. This was all about taking 
the holiday spirit out of the American people, patriotism, religion, Christianity, doesn't matter what you are, Jewish, Muslim, or Christian, they hate you all. And, um, yeah, so there's no other way of, um, and they've just, this wasn't by coincidence, they did it in Colorado and uh, Maine and other people were trying to do it. And um, What I would like to see is someone like Donald Trump getting schooled in British maritime law and start filing British maritime liens against a lot of these corrupt deep staters because apparently you can because we're all employees of the corporation of the United States and they are impeding his ability to perform commerce money rolls the world not CNN not MSNBC and that's just a fact and then the cherry on top of the cake do I, do I need to show you that pic? You, you know how I have the infamous pic of Klaus Schwab on the beach in his satanic bride outfit? Well, George Soros was spotted at the beach over the holiday in his swimming trunks. I don't even want to pull that picture up. He's like 93 years old right now. He wants to go to the beach. That's fine. But he had two black men with him. Very thin black men, too, and people are looking at them like, and saying, they don't look like bodyguards. Yeah, George Soros had his little cabana, black cabana boys out at the beach with him. That's why they want us gone. So, George Soros and Klaus Schwab can go out to the beach. Just look up George Soros Beach. You want to see the pic? <laughs> Good luck with that one. I don't want to. I don't even want to look at the CNN video anymore. Uh, this same CNN. This is liberal hive mind. He made a video about it. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's what's going on with this. All this bullshit with the ballot going from Colorado to Maine. It's the time of year they're doing it. This is not a coincidence. I went to CNN and MSNBC's website on Christmas. There was nothing on there about Jesus or Christmas. It was all about Trump and the ballot and the... Yeah, get out of here with that shit. God forbid you took one day off from your derangement syndrome. Oh, no, you couldn't do that because of what day it was. Um, you hate Jesus even more than you hate Trump. Well, the people in charge do. Obviously, they crucified him. For being a threat to paganism. So anyway, that's my rant. Thanks to the people who support the channel. Listen, um, maybe we'll live stream tomorrow night. Tomorrow's New Year's. I'm not doing anything. How does that sound? Tomorrow's Sunday night. Yeah, maybe we'll get some beer or something and live stream. How does that sound? Not tonight. Um, I think I'd rather do it tomorrow. I'm just going to chill out I, I don't I've been watching some old movies from the 80s recently <laughs> do you blame me there's nothing good and I was like holy shit I, I forgot how good Hollywood was at one time at one time at least the Transformers were more hidden they weren't right in your face like now um, yeah this anyway so, um, yeah, let me see, I'll just go to Gateway Pundit and it's going to be about whatever the hell is going on now, right? Screw Trump, I should run for president. You think they hate Trump? They only hate Trump because he was fighting child trafficking, and that's a fact. Uh, that's the other thing that people are, are starting to see. Like people holding on to the fact that, oh, Trump can't be president. He's going to. You notice they keep using the word democracy when we're a republic. They keep saying that on purpose. But people are like on the other side, like, well, what the hell has Joe done? Like, are you, are you serious? How the hell can you, like, defend this guy? Do you, you do fucking go outside and see, like, what the country's like every day, right? That's, people are just seeing right through that defense also. There's no excuse for it. It's 
so that's my thought of course this shit has no legality and um so now they gotta waste everybody's fucking time and go to the supreme court now and make this go through the supreme court when you know it's gonna get shot down this is fucking childish i don't want any of these people running our government truthfully they act like petulant demon possessed children because they are And, uh, yeah, okay, let me stop ranting. <laughs> Alright, but that's how disturbed in the head these people are, how sick they are, how satanic they are. That's all what this was about. They couldn't have everyone in America getting all along regardless of sexual orientation, skin color, or religion, and single, singing jingle bells together, and sharing gifts and food. That's the last thing they want. No, they'd rather sit there and gossip about Trump all day. It's getting pretty fucking pathetic. But the good thing is people are starting to wake up to what's really going on here. Anyway... It's all from my rant. If you could support the channel, all the links are in the description. I got some outdoor kitties I gotta go feed. Anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. God bless and take care.